Hello and welcome to Sunset Seekers. Thank you so much for joining us for another video. Now in our last top five video, we talked about the things that, uh, that are on my list, those things that are important to me, those accessories, RV gadgets, things that enhance RV living for me. Well, today we're gonna be talking about those things that are important to my lovely wife here, Christy. The top five things that kind of enhance her RV experience. Now, if you haven't seen our other top five video, be sure to check that out. There's a link right here. Uh, there will also be a link in the description. And so check it out, here we go. Okay, so this is my top five video that Mike asked me to put together. And these are things that are important to me. And so I'll start with first totes. Um, they were cheap at Walmart, of course, a couple bucks a piece. But I sh um, put in, store, I should say, all like bowls, containers and stuff. Um, also, um, cooking stuff pots pans they're easy for me to deal with because they have a handle and so I also when Mike and I go uh, from the house to the RV I have one in the house that I will then put all our groceries in um, from the store and whatever we're going to be eating that week to go into the pantry will be stored in these uh, little containers because it's easy for me again because of the handles on the front to pull out of the thing and set it on the counter also I love those little totes um, I have a little system here the gray ones go in the pantry the black ones go in the refrigerator so any refrigerables we have instead of opening the fridge and stocking them shelf by shelf or sh shelf by shelf I should say and on the door um, I just figured it'd be easier for me to stock them from the fridge once we're at the house and so stocking right in the fridge put them in these containers because two we've never had an incident where the fridge opened and things fell out so everything was in a bag that I could just easily put in the refrigerator but these were easy for me to transport from the house or the grocery store back to the RV so that's my number one love those totes the other thing and I have to get Mike his own is this little shower caddy um, I think it was out there for the college kids um, but I snagged one up for us because he, we can put all of our toiletries on there we are weekend warriors and so I don't have stuff for the camper to stay on, for the stuff to stay on the camper all the time. So this was just easy, has everything we would need, and it's easy for me to just take out or just leave it in this bag um, and pick it up and go. So that's my other one. Got that at Walmart too. And if you know us well enough, it's just got all our Young Living insect repellent, our, uh, you know, anything we need, mouthwash, toothpaste, oils, soaps, whatever. My number three that I also got at Walmart is these little laundry bags. Now I started off with something different, um, but it was horrible. Uh, so we trashed those. These were like $10, I think at Walmart. And um, honestly, I put all of our, like this is all our bedding and all our towels for the RV. Once I get them home, wash them up. I stick them back in here, stick them in the closet for the next time we go RV in. There's a lot of stuff in here. It's got a blanket, a, a big, a thick blanket, a queen size blanket, queen size sheets, two sets of towels, washcloths, kitchen stuff, um, mats, you know, everything that's beside our clothing is in this bag. Um, and so it's easy for me <laughs> to have this stuff ready and packed and just grab it and go. And I have one for Mike and one for myself. For our individual clothing and then of course when we come home all of our dirties are in there and it's easy for me to wash so that's easy for me as a weekend warrior to have things prepared to go uh, my fourth little thing is a crazy little thing some of y'all may know what this is some of y'all are like what in the world is that this is a squatty potty and if you're short like me you need some help for your feet to touch the ground so uh, we have one for home and I will travel but not without my squatty potty. 
so if y'all are short or have kids, this is perfect because you're not tiptoeing when you have to go to the facility. And honestly, it <laughs> we pull it out of the closet when we set up and it fits right beside the toilet. Looks like we've got some smudge marks or something on it, but it sl slips in right beside the toilet um, when we're not using it. Squatty Potty got on Amazon for $25, I think. And these are, can, these are some of my uh, fun little oils that I have at home. And I thought, these are perfect. We use a lot of these every day, like the lavender and peppermint. So the last thing that my have to go is an, a diffuser. So the little orb diffuser that I bought has a USB. So Mike's truck has a USB plug. And so I get this going when we leave the house and diffuse freedom, peace and calming if we're stressed out just from packing up and going. Um, but I get that diffusing. And then once we get in the trailer, I set it up. Um, right that now, this morning, I have freedom because there's freedom in camping. We love it. So I've got that um, diffusing right now. But these are just some fun walls that um, I like to diffuse occasionally. But those are my top five um, totes from Walmart for groceries and just storing things. The shower caddy, again, um, our laundry bag, the squatty potty, and my orb diffuser. Those are the top five things that I don't want to leave home without. So one other thing I uh, mentioned to Mike was if ladies or guys, but this is my top five. So I guess I'm geared more towards women. If there's something that you're like, hey, I can't leave home without my whatever, please share that with me. I would love to see what other people have to have, especially women, because I mean, outside stuff, that's just not my, my area, that's Mike's area. But if there's something you ladies can't leave home without, share that with me, I would love to know that too. We want to thank you so much for watching this video, and if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button so that you can follow along with us on all our future journeys. We hope that you found some of the information in this video to be useful, and you know, we like sharing those things that are important to us and, and things that kind of enhance our RV experience, so uh, maybe some of the things on this list could prove beneficial to you. Bye! Bye.